Yes, you read the title right. You could play any game you want on your Steam Deck with much cooler temperatures, higher graphics and frame rates, and much longer battery life, all without getting rid of SteamOS for Windows. How though? Well, we'll get to that. First, I wanna tell you some caveats because this might not be a primary gaming solution despite its many advantages. And I don't wanna waste however many minutes of your time this video ends up being in case you're looking for a primary way to run all your games. Spoiler alert, that's Windows. But it is still worth doing this method because this setup is super quick and easy, your Steam Deck will run much cooler, and the battery life will increase from the typical one and a half to two hours, usually one and a half for me, all the way to a minimum of five hours. Okay, caveat number one. You need a gaming PC that isn't the Steam Deck with an NVIDIA graphics card. You may be able to do this with AMD graphics cards, but I'm not 100% sure. And number two, you always need to have an internet connection. The higher the upload and download speeds, the better, but you'll probably want an upload of about 20 megabits per second and downloads of about 50 megabits per second, with ideal speeds being around 100 down and 50 up. And if you haven't figured it out by now, I'm talking about game streaming. But hold on, this isn't your typical game stream service. Otherwise, there would be no point in making this video. I'm talking about a software called Moonlight. It's kind of like Parsec, but what makes this software special is its ability to be able to stream whatever your computer sees with extremely low input lag, high frame rates, unlike Xbox's cloud streaming, which is limited to 30 FPS, I think, and also with a high bitrate playback so you won't have or notice any blockiness. It's so good that games look like it's actually natively running on a Steam Deck. Parsec is great, but sometimes it doesn't look as good as Moonlight, even with the same settings. And Moonlight has a better interface for what we're about to do, but that's beside the point. Let's get into the tutorial. Number one, make sure you're running SteamOS. You can also do this with the Steam Deck running Windows, but I found the experience of Windows 10 or 11 on the Steam Deck to be pretty poor. Next, go to your PC and make sure you have NVIDIA's annoying GeForce Experience software. Once you do that, click on the gear on the top right next to your profile picture, go to the left tab and click Shield, and make sure Game Stream is turned on. Now it's time to get Moonlight on your Steam Deck. Hold the power button or open your Steam menu and click Power and select Switch to Desktop. Just give it a few seconds and you're gonna be in the Linux Arch Desktop. If you find that your cursor isn't moving or isn't clicking when you push the right trackpad down, open Steam next to Return to Gaming Mode and that should fix it. On the taskbar, you'll see a shopping bag called Discover. Open that, click on the search bar on the top left, hold the Steam button while pressing X to bring up your keyboard and type Moonlight, or Moon for short. Download the one that looks like a pie of white pizza slices with gray crust. Once downloaded, make sure your Steam Deck is connected to the same network as your PC and open Moonlight. You should be able to see your PC automatically, but if you don't, I'll leave a link in the description which has a guide as well as some troubleshooting tips. On Moonlight, click on your PC and a four digit game stream pin will pop up. Put that pin into your GeForce Experience pop-up window on your PC and now you're connected to game stream. Now at this point, you can only play games through Moonlight as long as your Steam Deck is on the same network as your computer, and you can only play games that is showing on the GeForce Experience. If you wanna add your desktop, go back to the Shield settings menu, click on the Add button on the bottom of the Game Stream window, go to your C drive, then the Windows folder, then System32 folder, and no, don't delete that, and find an executable or exe file called MSTSC. Double click that, and now you've added your desktop to Moonlight, which you'll be able to control with your Steam Deck. Next, go back to your Steam Deck, click on the Steam Deck kind of logo on the bottom left to open your Steam search menu, and type Moonlight on the search bar on the top, or go to All Applications, and look for the Moonlight client. Once you find it, right click it, and click Add to Steam. This is how you'll be able to launch it when you're in the Steam OS gaming mode. Now, if you want to be able to play from anywhere in the world, again, as long as you have internet, make sure you're on your PC, click on a link in the description or go to moonlight-stream.org, highlight the host download tab and click on the internet hosting tool, which will take you to a GitHub link. The version I'm using is 5.5.4, which is the most current version as I'm making this video. And I recommend that because from what I've heard, sometimes there are updated versions that don't work right and I have no clue why, but if it's true, which I don't know if it is, and you're having problems with a particular build, then you're gonna to wanna to try different ones. Anyway, click on the link, download the tool, 
install it, and voila! You're now able to stream all games anywhere and everywhere with maximum graphics, if your PC can handle it, as high frame rates as your PC can get, games with anti-cheat that your Steam Deck doesn't support, and great battery life. Battery life is especially important to me because when I went to the desktop mode on the Steam Deck, apparently it had a battery health of 92%, meaning I already lost 8% capacity. Considering I got my Steam Deck around June 12th and it's been like two weeks later, that's abysmal. This means I need to stop charging and discharging my battery two plus times a day, which is kind of hard to do with the battery lasting only one and a half hours on a full charge. If I don't stop my current charging habits, my battery will be completely f in about six months. With Moonlight, this relieves the stress on a battery since it lasts literally three to five times longer on a single charge, and it's running much cooler at about 45, 50 degrees Celsius rather than 80, since none of the processing for the games are being done on the device, just the streaming processing, which only uses about eight watts with the screen on full brightness, which is amazing. Now, there are still some things you want to know. Number one, the Moonlight stream on the Steam Deck can freeze sometimes, particularly on the desktop. So if you find that your mouse isn't moving, just press the select, start, L1 and R1 buttons all at the same time to disconnect from the session and reconnect. No need to completely close down Moonlight. Number two, you wanna make sure you adjust the resolution on your desktop through the Nvidia control panel, not through the display settings on Windows. If you do it through Windows, your screen will look like this. And number three, you'll probably want to have a resolution higher than what the Steam Deck can handle because you're gonna have more fidelity, basically, just a more crisp visual. You're still gonna to wanna to have a resolution that's at a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, otherwise things might look too squished, whether it's top from bottom, but having a higher resolution will add more fidelity, making the games just look much more crisp than if you set it to 1200 by 800. And it's still gonna be fine, but why not have the extra crispness? And that's pretty much it. I hope I didn't miss any instructions and I hope you guys are able to successfully do this. I hope you're also enjoying it if you did do this and tried it out for a little bit. Um, let me know how the installation process went. Let me know if the instructions were clear, what I needed to clear up. If you didn't find anything to be clear, um, take a look down in the comments because I might have a pinned comment saying that I missed something, whatever. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you disliked it, go ahead and dislike. If you want, consider subscribing because I like subscribers. Let's hit 100,000 before the end of the year. And follow me on Twitter. You can see some behind the scenes stuff. Follow us on Discord or join us on Discord so you can chat with the community. And as always, have a great day every day. Peace.